many years ago, 10 years ago, I started teaching this lesson after I was first taught this lesson by those who aren't here today, who initiated me into this knowledge. Although, as I said at the beginning of this, this is not a new knowledge. It's not a new state of information. There is nothing new. Everything always has existed. It's just when we allow ourselves through this systematic law of learning to arrive at the point of knowing it. There's been a book around for thousands of years called the Kybalion or the Kabbalah. It has many different terms. And many of you probably heard this saying before. It says, where follow the footsteps of the Master, the ears of those ready to hear his teachings open wide. When the ears of the student are ready to hear, then cometh the lips to fill them with wisdom. This is the exact same thing as the systematic law of learning. Everything within nature is this way, as above, so below. Your lives are the same way. You may have gone many, many years within your lives without learning something, and when you arrive at a point where you get ready to listen, then comes the teacher. And this is the first lesson that we have to tell the people, that unless you're ready to hear these lessons, you will hear nothing. Only those who are evolved to the point to understand this will be able to hear what's being presented. It's like if I asked you to look up at the sun and I said to you, what, what does the sun look like? And you may say to me, it looks like a great big yellow-orange ball. And then I took a very dear friend of yours standing right next to you and I took them two million light years from here to another sun. And they looked at it and then they came back and I said, from here, what does that sun look like? And they say that would be a little blue star. In reality, what are they both? They are both suns. And it all depends upon your perspective. Everything is relative. But for some people, it's only possible to look upon that mighty sun millions of light years away in one perspective, because that's all their ears can hear. That's all their eyes can see, because they're stuck, not allowing themselves to hear the words of wisdom, to allow themselves to learn anything new, for their belief system tells them that they already know all. It's very important that we arrive at the point of not knowing this state of submission and surrender and questioning and experience of action within everything within our life before we can move on in evolution.